Welcome to a new episode of Strikers Den and today's topic is UFC 300 Jamal Hill vs Alex Pereira. I would like to digest exactly what happened in the fight. Before the fight, if you uh, listen to a lot of pundits, they were saying that Jamal Hill should give a lot of trouble to Pereira or he actually even he should beat him. So my take was the totally opposite. I did a scorecard, I will put it on the side. Um, where on my scorecard Pereira was clearly winning the fight and my own prediction was that as well that he might catch him with the left hook and or maybe even the kick and because of Jamal's stance um, but of course all the pundits uh, or not all and but a lot of pundits basically were saying no Jamal should give the trouble or Jamal should win the fight anyway in this particular fight um, I think Jamal would have much success if he was able to close the range and and work in the close range and use his hands and Pereira of course he needed to set things up and catch him and that's what exactly he did. So I'll go through the fight quickly and see exactly what he did. So if I uh, just uh, start if I just uh, play this video and before I play actually if you see over here you, you can actually see already that Jamal is on the long range and there's a gap in between Jamal and Pereira and in order for Jamal to get his, his hands on he need to close that range and of course Pereira will not let that happen so also is about who can dictate exactly where they want to be if you see at the moment uh, Alex is outside of Jamal and Jamal need to take his uh, leg outside of Pereira so he can use his left hand over here and use his power hand so first of all we'll have a look actually who is managed who is managing to take advantage on the footwork or foot placement in the fight so they both definitely know where they want to be if you see Pereira is going outside Jamal want to go on the outside as well uh, but again can Jamal close the distance well you, you have you must have seen the fight already of course he was not successful in order to close the distance I want to mention one thing over here before actually we go to the knockout here uh, if you see over here uh, Alex um, is touching Jamal's glove and uh, Jamal is letting that happen so when he's extending his hand and he's uh, touching his hand which means Pereira, Pereira actually know his distance so if he want to step in and he want to execute his any strike he will have success because he just touched his glove he knows he's there so sooner you touch he can go with his strike so keep that in mind and we go through again touching again two time touch again I touched again that was a good thing so he touched got a kick and a, a counter but again if you see the distance Jamal is not able to close that distance even he had success with that left hook but uh, uh, Pereira moved back he's also having his weight on the back leg which means that if he comes forward with his hook or cross he can lean back or he can go back again if you see see he's moving for that and what exactly happened over here Pereira I stopped him by pushing his hand down and he's still keeping that distance in between again and he went out again he's touching again he touched again so he this is all set up he's touching his hand and he he's gonna Jamal going to pay for that mistake you don't let that happen you don't let other fighters to touch your hand again and again that is a false sense of security getting from other guy and plus they might be setting you up you don't know so you don't give them hand oh yeah thank you very much you touch no it's a big mistake you don't do that okay the setup started he did first jab again touch three times touched already again touching again touching why why Jamal you doing that why are you touching again because you will not be able to get him because he exactly know where you are again second jab he is stopping his movement that he can't come forward 
again he just uh, throwing that again he's he's starting to push forward jamal should be pushing him forward but no and yeah Pereira basically maintaining his uh, range pretty well and he, even whenever he throws a hook he knows exactly where he is he just lean back and then you see over here what he's gonna one two three four and hook yeah you wanna touch hands okay it's okay thank you very much I mean, that was a mistake again jamal come on you throughout the fight you were doing the same thing you touching his hand why you let that happen okay i'm gonna just go through again quickly and see how many time he touched the hand before he executed his uh, hook one two three four and hook <laughs> he paid for that mistake <laughs> anyway yeah thank you very much that was my take on this fight um that was a total setup he set up by first of all he maintained his long range he went down he was checking his hand jamal that let that uh, happen he got his range and he does one two three four while his left hand is there he knows that he can get to his face quicker than his own hand so it's because he's touched over there and then he just executed his hook so yeah i mean that okay one two three four see he's a held and then yeah he held his like there and then he executed his hook i mean that is uh, like a really bad mistake so anyway that was my take on this fight if you like this video please like and subscribe and be part of the community and i will get back to you with another video